Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my Theory Tuition series where I'm working with you step by step through the ABRSM Theory Grades. There are lots of resources to help you on my website. If you go to SharonBill.com, you'll find some free PDF information sheets which you can download in US Letter or A4 to accompany each step of this series. You'll find a page there with links to all of my YouTube video tutorials and you can also find out about the books I have available. I've written an exam technique guide, how to take your ABRSM music theory exam. It's full of tips and techniques on how to best be prepared for your exam and also how to make the best use of your time come exam day. So if you go to SharonBill.com, you'll find it's all there. If you can give me a like, that would be super and please do subscribe to my channel and share out the videos. And now we're going to make a start on question five of the grade five 2019 practice paper B. So if you turn with me to page 15, we can get on with that. So this question, both parts of this question are relating to different scales. And so if you work out your circle of fifths before you even start, this question is easy peasy because you've done all of your thinking already. And so if you're not sure how to work out this circle of fifths where you get all of your key signatures for your major and minor keys, just pop to the video um, on my playlist Music Theory for Everyone and it's the video The Circle of Fifths. I'll put a link in the cards and in the description as well. So if you've done your thinking here, all the stress is gone and we just got to literally write out some sharps, flats or a few little blobs. So let's get on and do that. So we're asked to put accidentals in front of the notes here to form the scale of D sharp melodic minor. We're not to use a key signature, we're to use accidentals. Now if it is that you're not comfortable in this clef, it depends what instrument you play. And so if bass clef isn't the clef of choice, why not just make things really easy and just sketch out the letter names? Because you know you're starting on D, so just work up your scale. Now even if you don't play piano, I do suggest that you always sketch out a piano keyboard. It's a good way of just visualising the steps up and down the degrees of the scale. So uh, it doesn't have to be a work of art, but that really helps too. So now then, D sharp minor is related to F sharp major, which has a key signature of six sharps, F, C, G, D, A, E sharps. So we're going to have to put in the accidentals, F, C, G, D, A, E sharps. So always working in pencil because we're going to have a little bit more thinking to do once we've done that, but let's take it one step at a time. Now, although when you're writing it in words, and I know this sounds really obvious, but it's a mistake a lot of people make. Um, when we're writing it in words, we say D sharp, but when we're writing it in music, we have to say sharp D because you need to know it's sharp and before you play it, otherwise it'd be D and then it's like, oh, shucks, I should have sharpened that. It seems really obvious, but it's a really important thing to think about. And don't forget, it's beginning and ending on D, so both of those will need sharpening. It feels like you're doing an extra sharp, but this one occurs twice, of course. So then, let's just go through in order now. So F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp we've done, A sharp and E sharp. So that's only the first part of the process because now we need to make this a melodic minor form. Now, in the descending version, it would just be the notes appropriate to the key signature of the relative major. However, we're not doing the descending, we are ascending, and this is where we need to raise the sixth and seventh. So one, two, three, four, five, the sixth and the seventh degrees of the scale need raising. So the sixth is a B, so we raise a B by adding a sharp sign, so that's easy enough. Now the C sharp, it's already sharpened, so in order to raise that further, it becomes a double sharp. 
And so I know that I've sort of written C sharp and then had to rub it out, but it's worth that just to take it a stage at a time rather than trying to do all your thinking on the fly. So once you've raised your sixth and the seventh, that's job done. Now then, next one, we're asked to write the key signature of E flat major and then one octave descending. Watch out now, we're in treble clef. So E flat major has a key signature of B flats, E flats and A flats. So positioning those correctly in the treble clef, B flats, E flats, A flats. And now once we've got our first note, it's downhill all the way, quite literally here for a descending scale. So we know the spaces spell face, F-A-C-E. So we're going to go for this high E, E flat of course, because of your key signature. And so now we're just coming down in, in step. Remember scale literally means step. So it's space, line, space, line, space, line, space, line, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we're ending on note E, so we know nothing's gonna miss. Remember the lines are every good boy deserves football. And once you've done that, job done. That's the end of that question. And we'll look at the next question in the next video. I do hope this is helpful to you. I hope it's helping you with your studies. I also really hope that you're enjoying it. I'm certainly enjoying working through it with you. If you can give me a like, that would be really super. And please do subscribe to my channel to keep updated. Do share out the videos. And please do visit SharonBill.com and have a good browse around all of the resource and information that's available there to help you. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.